Hi everybody, good morning. Have you ever told someone something important and only find out later that they actually weren't listening or sometimes a person only heard what they wanted to hear? Does that happen to you when you're having a little disagreement with your spouse? You know, it's like all of a sudden they've got selective hearing. It never happens to me, never. All right, truth be told, maybe, possibly, once or twice. I may have heard what Esty said as more of what I wanted to hear, not what she actually said. The reason is that as Esty was speaking to me, I was filtering it through what I wanted her to say, rather than listening to what she was actually saying to me. Sometimes I think we do this when God speaks to us. You know, God is speaking to us, but while God is speaking, we're hearing what we want God to say, instead of listening carefully to what He's actually saying. And often... This happens when God is telling us something we don't really want to agree with. Moreover, it's because we believe we have the answer and we want God to agree with us. There's a great verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. It's in verse 8 and 9, and this is what it says. It's God speaking, and we know this verse, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways. This is the Lord's declaration, For as heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts and your thoughts. Kind of settles a dozen who's cleverer than who yeah. But many times, too many to count, I've had to say to God, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> your ways are far better than mine. What was I thinking? Next time I do that, would you ring a bell in my head? I mean, don't we all need that at times? We need to humble ourselves and admit that God's ways are far better than ours. Always. You know, the other thing that helps to recognize the voice of God is to silence every other voice in your head and focus on the one that matters most. For you, it might mean turning off the radio on your way to work or putting your phone down for a while or spending extra time. How's that to hardy dot? It had to be in the morning, didn't it? <laughs> We're spending more time on your devotional. The great news is this. God said in Jeremiah 29, 13, You will seek me and find me when you search for me with your whole heart. God is with you, and He's with me, and He's listening to you and I, and He's talking as well. But you know, relationships are a two-way street. Instead of looking for a tangible sign or specific answer, just look to God instead. Silence your thoughts and search for Him. He could be speaking to you through something as simple as a song, another person, or that overwhelming peace you have about a situation. Or even the goosebumps when your pastor makes a really good point. Nah? Hint, hint. This morning, why not try to turn off your selective hearing and tune into the Spirit of God? He has something to say to you. Amen. I trust you're going to have a great day. May God bless you and I'll see you again tomorrow morning.